Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new play night today with a game called Atom RPG and it's available right now on Steam and early access for the low 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 price of I believe it was around uh, just 15 euros but well, only 15 euros that's actually quite shocking it's made by Adam team which is a team of people that decided you know you know what we like Fallout don't we I mean, Fallout 4 and 3, they're not really that the direction in which, in which the old Fallout games went. So let's make our own. But let's make it our own. And I mean our own. Let's have it be set in Russia. Let's have it be set in 2005. Let's have it be set after the, apoc the nuclear apocalypse that didn't happen, you know, in the far-flung future with laser guns and everything else. No, it happened in the 90s. And here's where Adam RPG begins. It is Fallout. It is as close to Fallout as it can probably get. It it resembles it quite a lot. It, it, it's in its version is 0 0.7, so uh, not final. You're not gonna find. Uh, well, there's some things missing in terms of options, as you can see. Not really that many um, features. I gotta say, um, I like the aesthetic they chose. It doesn't try to emulate Fallout in terms of its the aesthetic it uses for the interface See, it has these buttons from uh, from old Soviet era computers. It's, I actually own a couple of those, and they're kind of nice. I don't have it anymore, sadly. I uh, also don't. You can customize controls in this version, but you do have this. And one thing I cannot find on this is how do I sneak? Actually, I'm gonna look it up right now. How do I sneak? I just want to be sure. Sneak radius. Uh, is there any way to seek? How do you sneak? Sneak is a passive skill. It determines uh, enemies can see or from enemy. Yeah. So it's it's passive. Eh, eh. It would be nice if I knew, like, if it was active sneaking. So I would, you know, put more effort into it and stuff like that. But that's not really. I am not far enough into the game so that I can complain about it. I'm actually not far into the game at all. And I don't plan to go far into the game because it looks honestly nice and I don't want to play more of it until it's ready because... Um, well, I have played a lot of RPGs in early access and that basically ruined the experience for me until the game was done. So uh, I will try not to do that. Like I said, it is very much followed. It uses the, uh, the Apple system... <laughs> It's it's sort of like special, but it literally it's special, but with D instead of um, instead of agility. Well, there is an A for attention, but and uh, you can invest your points in all these, and uh, it'll say uh, different things like at A strength you're a strong man, at ten you are Vasily Alexeyev. I don't actually know who Vasily Alexeyev is. Probably should should have googled them. Should have googled them to understand better the uh, the uh, reference. And you can set your uh, strength to be one if you have muscle atrophy or intelligence to comatose. And you can also pick uh, what kind of character you want. And they said that female characters will have different interactions with pe with people. So it's uh, male and female will have different reactions from others. So it's something that's uh, going to be uh, well. Uh, that was a Kickstarter stretch goal because this game was Kickstarted because they did had to, they did put a lot of work into making them a bit different. So I'm gonna start a new game just just for a few moments to show you the experience of starting out with a character that has uh, ten luck, one intelligence, uh, and let's no endurance. Actually, like, things can go to eleven apparently. They can go to eleven. Attention level is Julius Caesar because it said Julius Caesar could do ten could do ten things at once, and this is at ten. So yeah, that totally makes sense. And you also have uh, well, you have your skills. So you can invest points in. Now let's put some into martial arts because we're going to martial art our way out of everything. Even if we have, we have basically no strength and no power. It's gonna be it's gonna be a horrible character. Let's put some black belt in there and uh, minus five armor class. Cursed Sniper, an old gypsy curse you for shooting her pet crow. Plus one to attention, minus one to luck, and minus five to sequence. Nah, let, let's not pick it. Let's pick six up, it'll be, it'll be fun. 
And let's start this. Intellect is too low. Sorry, but Adam would never. S oh, oh, not really. But then, what's the point of letting me choose that? No, no. Okay, game gets a black mark. No. Okay, maybe it's there because you're stacking fault at that level, and then you will be commodus. But then, why make it choosable in the first place? You could have comatose be zero or minus one below what's the minimum, I guess. And that looks still too low. Wow. I was really excited for the game. So I can only go in with intellect of a minimum of three. I have several modes of play. Easy is the easiest, of course. Uh, you've got normal. You got survival, which is actually permanent. That it means that uh, your save game will be uh, deleted, gone. We can play in expert mode, which gives you less experience, and it's hard to avoid random encounters. And saving only outside of battles. Let's go to normal, and start. So the basic idea of the game is as follows: You are part of Adam. Well, this <laughs> this is the story. You're part of Adam, which is a um. Uh, oh yeah, the, the war was in uh, 86, I thought it was in 96, no, it was in 86. You are part of Adam, which is basically like the Brotherhood of Steel. You go out, you find technology, and then you try and seed it to other people, to share it, to give it to others, slowly to rebuild the to rebuild what was lost. And this is how the game begins. I'm actually curious if, it, uh, if it's going to change in any way, because I have different stats. You're going to get ambushed in a couple of seconds. I think these guys had the uh, major level stealth, like major. Okay, uh, for uh, uneven shadows from uneven shadows, where they are dancing around a campfire. And he's a well-built man with in his thirties, dressed in a musky khaki uniform, all alone in his areas of waste. Such something, 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 something. Oh, see, he he does have a different dialogue depending on what gender I am. A uh, little red riding hood, loving foot, your sick aunt, grandma. And all these bags yours, uh, equipment, yeah, that's actually a lot different dialogue than I got last time. Uh, not free, what do you say? So I have, uh, these are my options right now. I don't have any strength, so I probably shouldn't really be able to use that. Final notice uh, for human figures, yeah, I finally noticed this, guys. You chose the wrong woman, mate. I was trained to deal with the hostile locals. Last time I chose this... And uh, I don't actually think I got anything for it. Let's see, I, I should just send this one this time. Get her. No, it's still the same thing. And damn, I'm out like a light. And they looted, let's see if they looted everything this time. No, they still have the canteen. My head, those assholes took everything. Yeah, and the only thing left is the canteen again. So that's how you begin the game. You basically, you have nothing. You can press Alt to uh, highlight things you can interact with. And one thing I gotta say is, graphically, I like the way it looks. It it's cleaner. It looks cleaner and brighter, more more visible than Wasteland 2. Uh, I wish the camera would have zoomed out a bit more. I know they put actually a lot of detail in the characters. They actually look quite nice. Uh, better than, than Wasteland 2, actually. But I kind of wish that uh, the camera would zoom out a bit more because the maps can get big. Speaking of the maps, there is one thing I take issue with, namely this. Uh, being able to see the end of the map... I know, it's it's a very nice aesthetic choice, but were this not a game that tries to be Fallout, I would have said yeah, absolutely, but I know, it, it makes the world feel like it's not cohesive, like it's... Like, it's not real. And one of the advantages that games like Fallout had is that they made everything seem very real in, the, in their context. But this one, it kind of takes away of it, takes things out of it, and it also has a different disadvantage. Like for example, this. Like, you know, there was nothing there. You saw there was no, no connection. There was a void. But it still tries to build that bridge, pun intended, because you crossed the bridge. We're not going to... I... F okay, that's a D? That is not a P. I think that's not a P. I, it's gonna say on the map what, what it's called. 
I forgot my Russian, okay? I haven't tried to speak or read Russian in 20 years. Give me a break. It's been a while. Also has very, very nice uh, intros. So this is Otradonia. Otradonia, like I said, that, that wasn't... The, the P is an R, basically. We're now in the village of Otradonia. And here, like I said, you can see the edge of the map. And there is an issue with the edge of the map, namely that... Uh, see? I can click here. Here I can click all the way up to the edge. Not here. And thing is, you're gonna be in combat situations where you think, oh, actually this is where I encounter the combat situation in, uh, in question. You're gonna be in combat situations where you think, oh, okay, I can still retreat all the way up here. So I, I'm not actually cornered, but you are. Actually, I'm gonna initiate combat right now and show you exactly what I mean. Come on, Mr. Scopey Corporate Sending C. That's as far as I can move. Which is bad because this ant or whatever this thing is, I can actually outrun it. I can hit it. And then move here. And it will not have enough AP to hit me. And if you heard a ding, that's the same ding as in Fallout. So let's hit it again. And I'll move back here. See? It does not have enough AP to hit me. Not at all. And I'm going to switch to my kick right now. Now, strange, I think, uh, I thought my character, hmm, that's funny. My character doesn't have aimed shots, but the other one does. Not enough action points. Oh, I got hit and poisoned because I didn't move. But yeah, that, that killed the end. Maybe it's strength related that I can't, uh... Can't activate aim shots. Aim shots in this game are kind of a bit weird. I'm gonna load my other save game. Let's uh think this was it. Level was this one it? Yeah, I think this one was it. Like I said, I'm not I'm not very far into the game. I got I should I should have checked the dialogue options for the, the character with well she has three intelligence, so meh. Can I can I still load that? That's what I wanted to check first and foremost. Okay, I'm gonna load the save again. Gonna check the dialogue options. Now she say, er, me, dummy, er, 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 er. Standing, hello, also to you too. Looking for someone, a uh, couple of questions. Yeah, okay, it doesn't seem to be all that different. It's kind of sad. I was hoping for more interaction with someone with, like, with three intelligence. Yeah. You wouldn't really be a rocket scientist, now, would you? I mean, you'd be considered kind of uh, daft a bit, a bit cuckoo. I mean, not all that uh, bright. Like I said, I do love the, um, the the character portraits. They look great. Chef for me next. Next, looks old man. Thanks for your advice. Now it's on the menu. Close. Oh, uh, he wanted to give me a quiz, but I skipped over it. I do have his quiz on the other thing. Um, I'm inclined, try it out, bring boldly, continue, continue. Yeah, and this is the vision that you get. And you almost die. Surprisingly well. There's a lot of dialogue in the game. And dialogue for the most part works. Uh, there are some issues in the current version where you will have the wrong answers for some of the dialogue. Uh, so, for example, you have uh, um, responses to something that the character didn't say, actually, which can be kind of annoying. So this is my current character. Uh, it's only on level two. I went for a... Um, well, I want to see if there's a sniper perk in the game. Because you do get perks as you progress. For example, I got the one for ent entomologist, allowing me to uh, basically make... Uh, take parts out of animals. And I got it in a gothic style way. Technically, it's also a fallout way because you don't have skill. You don't invest them. You don't get abilities like this by investing points. You get them by learning the uh, reaction from certain people. Well, for example, I learned how to um, get things from bugs from uh, a dude living up there. 
And the good part is I can now use it on all the enemies I already killed. So I'm not going to use it on this thing, but I think I already collected that. I already got that too. Man, I got a lot of stuff. Oh, no, there, 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 there you are. And I'm going to go back to this guy. Also, there's some graves that I can dig up if I have a shovel, but I don't have a shovel right now. And I'm going to go and fish. And see, this is the bit I find annoying. The, the map stops here. Like, this is the end of map, but it still goes on graphically that way. That's annoying. But I do love the reflection of the night sky in the water. It uh, looks quite, quite nice. So let's, let's fish a bit. I actually think there's an achievement here because you can get a... Um, a fish that grants wishes according to an achievement. Times and allow ground, that's clear. Squash mosquito. I heal for zero health. Uh, I was quiet. Mm, Save all your neck, I was quiet. Whistle a little melody. A bite, pull it. Take the catch. And I found, uh, I lost a wasp leg, but I got, I got a uh, humpback. Before the word, this was the local name for the large perch. Okay, 36 self minus. Seven. Oh, by the way, you do have hunger. Um, there's a there's there are a few differences. I mean, it does resemble Fallout quite a lot. And I mean, oh, I lost it. It does resemble Fallout quite quite a lot, but there are some differences uh, that are sort of inspired by what people wanted Fallout to be. And that is, uh, well, a bite, pull, no luck. That is a more survival-oriented game. Pull on the fishing line. Pull, yes. And I got a uh, tree-eye trout. Oh, that looks rancid. That's, uh, that's not nice. Oh, I overloaded inventory, really. I can't walk at all with nine kilos extra, uh, seven kilos extra. Jesus. 11 kilos. Oh my god, that is a heavy fish. Can I trade this guy for the f uh, hard fish biting? Pants, can I ask some questions? Have you heard any rumors? Heard that there is a nasty rain to another kill. Let's barter. I want to sell you the shine dead fish. 66 rubles. You do not have. You have a metal, which is a lot easier to carry around. Give me all your money. I like the trading system because if you do have money on you, like uh, if you do want to trade something for money, for example, if I do want to put rubles in, but I don't have enough of them, if I do want to put rubles in, I will uh, automatically have selected the, the right amount of rubles for that uh, particular uh, trade. That's not... That, wow, these are actually quite expensive. These are some expensive fish. And I cannot walk. I hate the implementation of encumbrance it's it's a stupid kind the real can i at least put it down can i put the fish down also the inventory i know i know you like followed but Fallout's inventory you have to admit was rubbish why they're and why they're emulating in such a small screen uh, kind of kind of bad let's see if i can put it down okay drop one is it on the ground? Yes, it's still there. It's still there, so I can, I can. And I think I may be hungry a bit, actually. Am I hungry? Health seventeen. Oh, that's my hunger. It's set full. Let's eat it. Hunger is down. Let's eat that. It's at three hundred, so we're not hungry anymore. And I do have an encumbrance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because my um. My hunger increased my, my decreased my ability to actually carry things. So, hunger does affect quite a few things. It's important for you to always be fed, and to always be thirsty. Radiation can actually be uh, uh, mitigated a bit by um, by thirst by by drinking clean water, which you can do by fixing this this pump, which you will be able to if you have a good enough tinkering skills, and a lot of uh, time to practice using it. Now you may be wondering, so what's this game about? Well, your character, whatever you decide to name it, is an agent for the, the Atom organization, the one I told you about earlier, and you are sent to um, find a lost expedition, but you're not the only one. They also send people like this guy, Alexei. I think his name Alexander. What stories can you tell me? How's life in the way? Is this treating well, buddy? What are you, my mother? Don't answer. I can see you are not. Like, life is okay. 
Uh, let's say uh, my native Georgia, a sweet peach, but uh, it's still okay. Slowly remember the Alexander in 1970 for Georgia, but you politely. Yeah, this guy for some reason keeps telling you lies that you sort of know are lies because you've trained with them. Unless he's maybe a doppelganger, someone stole his face, someone pretending to be him. Could be, who knows? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe someone knows. Okay, so let's put that. Oh, yeah, I think this is where we're gonna see it. Put that here. It all mentally says the right amount. It's it's a little touch that makes this game like you can tell it's made by people that know. People that absolutely know what it's about. Like without a doubt. They know, they understand what this is about. Most of the time. So let's trade that. And well currently uh, I do have a quest right, right now. Uh there is a well, it's, it's the kind of basic situation you'll find when you're in a village. The dog barked. When you're in a village that's all alone in the wastes. And uh, there's some bandits around that keep extorting this place for money. And there is someone that within the town is a mole. And I'm supposed to investigate who the mole is. And I'm supposed to find out who it is. Parter. Hey. How about a discount? I'm new in town. Nope. A pity. I was worth asking. But I can keep asking and maybe one day I'll, uh, I'll succeed. And he's not angry at me yet, so that's a good thing. I don't have a weapon. Well, I do have a knife. I just traded recently for a knife. And I can also use her feet and other abilities to kick and grab. And Oh, I did sell my babushka scarf. I did have one that I stole from around here, but it, uh, it's actually more expensive than I thought. Kasparid. That's uh, Kasparamid. Just about anything. Yes, it will. Can we trade for anything? No. Oh, yeah. You also have a cooking mechanic. Basically, of course, you do have food, so it makes sense that there would be. And these, the brings actually remind me a bit of the um, uh, the healing plants from Fallout. They sort of look like them. Only have anything to trade with this guy. Kind of Let's close. Ask you some questions. And there, smile. Have you heard any rumors lately? A relative's caravan driver. He works. From the red partisan area of the something balance on the caravan to the boy party crew. So one day comes a relative and expel, calling some basement because for a pre war tense. Ooh! The kid never came back and missing ever since. Some of the men crew gone to the basement, the kid was talking about, and they only found a fresh pool of blood. Okay, so there are creepy things out there. Creepy, creepy things out there. Full of dreams. Okay, so it's supposed to be, I think, for me to find who is a spy in the city. And down. But I do not know who the spy is, but there's something back there, isn't there? I see something being highlighted. Oh, I took some nails. Problem is, um, the game doesn't have, like, if, if you right click on something, nothing should happen. You have to hold click to get this, and you have to hold click kind of a long while to get the, the pop up. I wish that was set to right click. Not all that well made because in your inventory it's right click that initiates the uh, the contextual menu with different options. Uh, the game needs like choose one, left click or right click and stick to it. Now I could try and find whoever is the um, the traitor in this village. Talk to some people. An old man in a skull cap uh, does what he always does. He opens and closes to his mouth, swinging around the melody. Okay. And just getting to know the locals, so oh, the locals, well, here I am, a local, through and through, they, uh, they shend you to help me, shunny? <laughs> they actually gave him one accent, that's, that's really nice. A shame to ask shunny, I still have the score in the patch, back my house, I pick myself, but I'm... And those have the kind of quests that you would expect from a game uh, like Fallout, that's made like in our corner of the world like go and collect some some things yeah it's it's not some it's not you being a super duper hero it's you doing a menial task uh, let's see i have to harvest a crop from an old man okay let's harvest the crops took some corn took more corn i'm gonna use the shovel to dig up a dead body it's gonna be fun let's give the corn to the old man Uh, 
Bake your roll corn, okay, a real worker. You help your buddy. Uh, look at the results, the final turns, the experience is ice ish. Just, I don't have any money to pay, what a shame. I was a hunter back, I know. And we said money, what a shame, shame, shame. To explore, no problem, I just would like to help. Maybe you could look around some more, every little bit helps. You caught me, old man, I was working for nothing. No problem, I was glad to help. Does not listen to you, finally comes, face and slaps forehead. I was a hunter, shit myself. Uh, wait here, shitty. On his knees, searching. Uh, well, graphically, he doesn't. He just. Oh my god, he's got a shotgun. Thanks, old man. It's just what I needed. Heart uh, pierced by an arrow. Okay, so I just got a really cool gun. Oh my god, it even has the. Gra like, this gun looks surprisingly a lot like the uh, the first uh, rifle you find in Fallout 2. It's actually the first gun you find in Fallout 2. Because guns in that game were a lot rarer in the beginning. And this one, you don't start with anything. Like, not even this knife. I, I traded for this knife. I sold some water bottles for it with water in them. But I don't believe I have ammo. Cool. I also have jamming chances, accuracy penalties. There is... It is... It does have, like, quite a well thought out uh, system. Again, I can't test for exactly how well thought out it is because uh, I've not been playing it for long, but together we will explore the game. Uh, but anyway, let's go just go buy some bullets. Uh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, what kind of bullets do I need for it? Mm, 7.62 x39. Barter pity, barter now. Let's see where's. And uh, there's a 30 millimeter. And. Mm, let's see, ammo. No, not the right kind of ammo. Darn. I have to find some other ammo somewhere. Maybe at least I can use the gun to intimidate people. Yeah, probably gonna do that. Well, since uh, finding the trade would probably be a spoiler. I'm not gonna give you that, and also I don't know exactly what in it, what it requires of me. Probably, well, I do have to interrogate people, I guess, and uh, get to the bottom of the, the situation and find answers. I'm actually gonna go to where the game told me to go a while ago, and that is to a certain bunker, which is different from a vault, because it's a bunker. This is the world map. Here you can see some bandits in the abandoned factory. There's a car there that's abandoned with a corpse or two in it. This area is fogged out, but we will head out. Oh, by the way, if you're poisoned, you will totally die out here. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to meet a caravan. Oh, damn it, they could have, they could have had ammo. They could have had ammo. That's uh, very annoying. One thing you can see uh, when you're in the screen is that is if you are poisoned, or if you have... Uh, it tells you that you have 32 health. Uh, that's your maximum health. It doesn't tell you if you have, you know, poison, like how much health you currently have. You can, however, rest... Example, oh, it's daytime. Yeah, the transition daytime is kind of sudden. I can do however this, I can rest. And when I rest here, I can, well, I can sleep for one and I can do this. I can, uh, I can cook. I don't have anything to cook. But I can't I can cook that, that spider bread, which is sad. I mean, who would want a, a nice, juicy spider bread? My mouth was watering just thinking about it. Mmm. Spider bread. <laughs> I think that maybe just terror, not not rule. That's again the map is actually bigger than I thought it would be. This resting map, even though it's it's just for you resting, it's not for anything else. It is kind of big. So where was the exit to it? Up north, this way. Oh, really? Was he? Was he? Okay, there is. It's at the edge. Again, the effect is nice, but I, I kind of wish it wasn't there. And I kind of wish the the map would zoom out more. A lot more. But it can zoom in as well. There seems to be a mining down here or something. Let's enter this town. Let's see what's in here. Let's visit some people. Stylistically, I, I love the game as it's made. It's very beautiful. It's, it's very, very Russian. It, it, it shows where it was made in a very, very clear way. And it's very fitting. Let's talk to this guy. 
You approach the gate of small fortress, and most I sold you at the gate race of sands, commanding it to stop, uh, and all easily takes off. Okay, stop right there. Lowers the sunglasses and gives a suspicious look. Papers. Papers, please. Uh, I'll personally issue the certificate for you. Attack, that's... What are you talking about? Papers, permission. Oh, a merchant certificate. Uh, carries a passport, residence permit in Paragon, and indulgence from the Supreme Priest of Cult of St. Slavic. Party membership, a tax privacy. Wait, are you serious? Of course, I'm absolutely serious. As you're serious as you can get, you imagine. You're loafing around. Nope. And, uh, how is... Regarding for the, who is the enemy. Depends. Sometimes it's called followers. Most of them highwaymen. Uh, I like the descriptions. Like, the descriptions are... They're, they're what Fallout, Fallout used to do before they just show talking heads. First and more or less, face it, I uh, see it's quite a long time. I already grant you my permission to enter fortress. I'll see the boss here. Peace. Little of the biggest boss wolves of Paragon. Fighting unit and well, Paragon regarding trade routes. Why do we hang around here? Those rascals. Uh, one thing I do kind of wish the game had is the ability to scroll up to see uh, the dialogue previously in case you missed something. Check their pockets if you're not too squeamish. Perhaps Jones indeed. Well, let's change the subject. Uh, okay. Goodbye. So I can go in. See, he's lighting me. Yay. Crisis averted. I can talk to these people. Uh, noticing... Oh, it's a little discount. Come on. Oh, so that only worked. It only worked once this time. Does he have the ammo? No, he does not have the ammo I need. Do you have the ammo I need? That is one fake beard. Uh, are these lines dangerous? Extremely. Okay. Uh, you don't have the. Nope, that's a slug. And that's diesel. By the way, the game does have a crafting system. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Oh, now. Uh, you have uh, predetermined uh, recipes that I can actually use. Wow, I... No, I I sold the papers. I had paper, but I sold it. God damn it. I sold the paper I had. But I do have this... Wait, where's my water? Crossbow bolt, custom made crossbow. I sold that too, a bag. A zip gun, a pipe rifle. Yeah, the pipe rifle, that was one from a Fallout 2. Broken bottle blade, custom grenade, a shiv. I could have I could have made a uh, a zip round. But I saw the thing. Let's experiment. For example, I can uh, combine these and get nothing. Nothing. <laughs> You get nothing. Actually, curious. Could I make a sort of a grenade with this? No, probably not. But see, there is a crafting system that will depend on what recipes you learn, what you know, and what you can find through the world. Is that... Okay, one of the things that's kind of annoying is that... Uh, if you press Alt, you don't necessarily see what you can interact with. There's a dog there. Oh, yes, that's the curbs they were referring to. Let's see what the corpse has on it. Oh, and I forgot to... Uh, yeah, I forgot to get the dead bodies. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get the dead bodies first, and, and then we'll, we'll go forward to the bunker. I, I want to see what, what happens with the dead bodies. There's a curse associated with it, like if I get a perk for being grave robber. I really want to see that. Really wanna. There's not many games attached to um, lockpicking, it's just a skill check. That you can use, you can attempt several times until you succeed. Corpses were here. Yes, there they were. There they were. Come on, come on, run faster, run faster. Running, running, running. I really wish the zoom out was better. Cannot. Okay, we have a shovel ready. So let's get a shovel ready. Oh, rubles! You can't take it. You can't take it with you, really. Like you shouldn't try. A fork and some nails. Do I get it? in? I still, I'm still not considered a grave robber or something. I think somebody has seen me, maybe. 
But nobody goes all the way up here. Digging, digging, digging. There is a babushka scarf. I'm gonna wear it now. Can I wear it actually? Or is a scarf? Let's put it here. It doesn't give me any sort of uh, status bonuses, it's just for decoration. And there's a rusty knife. Chance of poison! Cool! I get to poison people. Like a set player and some wires. And now I have actually more stuff for uh, for crafting. Okay, so now let's go back to actually getting to the bunker. So maybe I can actually show you some combat. Uh, so far I've only shown some exploration. And exploration wise, I gotta say I like the game so far. It may seem simplistic, but uh, if you're a fan of Fallout, you sort of already get the vibes of it coming from this game. Well, this and Unreal are probably games you will probably enjoy if you're a fan of the classic Fallout games, Fallout titles. I haven't. I don't think I've actually played the final version of Underrail. I played the version that was like 2009, 2010, a long time ago. Should really try and give it more attention. Okay, a chance to escape giant ants. Failure and their battle. I should probably have unequipped the um, this because I don't have any ammo. And let's go uh, fighting with some uh, some of these. Okay, move closer. Okay, why could I not? Okay, I can't aim this time for some reason. Okay, I had to click on this thing. Kick and aimed. When you click on aim, you get this. Now, this is a bit confusing. I presume this means kicking for the head, kicking for the eyes, the torso, the feet, and the hands. It would have been better if they actually overlaid this over a character because, let's face it, um, ants don't have a distinction between hands and feet. They're the same. So maybe... It needs a distinction. Also, I haven't critted once in this game, so... It's still not there yet. Oh, and then we went on with the other one. Well, let's try and punch him this time. Maybe I can punch him twice and just throw a punch normally. Bam. Bam. Bam! Almost dead. Please use the same description. Oh, that actually hurt quite a lot. Oh god, that's... that's... okay. I'll die already. Jesus! How almost dead are you? I think almost dead doesn't mean what you think it means. Finally. Let's switch to kicking in the face. Four damage, that's better. And I'm gonna move away a bit. So you can only attack me once, one, two, and uh, I'm gonna get a defense bonus if I end there. I haven't seen any critical fumbles yet, but I haven't been in all the combat. Oh, that the damage, 90, woohoo! And I'd get Ant Salivary Gland, that's, that's nice. Uh, they gave a strong smell of ammonia. Fish just love them for some reason. Good for the fishes. Very good for the fishes. Anything to... no, nothing to get around here, so let's go out. We appear to be a bit hungry. We may need to stop out for, stop out for some food soon. And that's the bunker I need to get to. So let's go to the bunker. Probably could actually stop at that thing that maybe a... Can we stop at that thing? Actually, I need to stop because I am currently a bit peckish. I need to be a bit hungry. And yeah, the location does change, like the uh, your rest location, depending on where you decide to stop. But I don't believe there is actually anything you can find or pick up around here. Oh, 9 HP. I think it's because I'm hungry. Can I actually eat something in my inventory? I do not think so. I do not think I can. Recommend strength 5. Yeah, my strength is down because I'm hungry. Ok, 
cannot do that. Yeah, I think my character is going to start for this. Like I said, this is a survival game. Water is, uh, does not seem to actually uh, be a substitute for, uh, for, for chow, for eating. And I don't have anything to cook, do I? No, I do not. I only have 9 HP left. God, am I going to die before I get there? I think I may die before I get there out of hunger. Took 1 HP damage because of hunger. Oh, there's got to be some food in the bunker. Got to be some food in the bunker. Enter the bunker. Come on. Enter the bunker before you die of starvation. So it is more complicated than Fallout. It has the extra layer of survival. And there's a, uh, there's a thing there. Oh, stands a fairly well preserved time on Scart. Inspect the box's attention. See, because I have an attention skill that's quite high, I can notice things. Loot from the apocalypse. Uh, only contents now fall on leaves, dust. But wait, there's three shells lying at the bottom. Take the ammo. I got 9mm ammo, which is pointless to me. Uh, inspect the card, inspect the mechanism. Try to pull the plate out. Try again. Aha! Uh -huh. Plate gives, inspect the mechanism. Fix it. Yes! I fixed it. Expect the control panel. I should probably just have read what happens there. Press and because exposure are gonna stop every year. Okay. Jumble mess your metallic brown, but effort mechanism is once again functional. Okay. So can I actually use it now that it's functional? Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to oil them? I don't know. Like the mechanism is functional, so it should work a certain way. Can I open this door? Oh, there's already a door there. Locked. Let's unlock it. You can break the lock. So it must have something to do with the... Oh, there's a helicopter. I think that's maybe, that's maybe one of ours. Oh, it's been here for quite a while. Personal diary of Ivan. I'm radiated and encumbered. Oh, I think this place may be irradiated, people. Uh, oh, my my hunger is killing me. It's, uh, let's use that. Radiation is killing me. Now it's the hunger that's killing me. That's going to be a bit of a bother. The game is focused on survival, but survival to the point where it, it actually stops you from progressing if you didn't plan things out. So you are going to have to be very careful, especially with the encumbrance. I think I am totally against the, the way encumbrance works in the game. Like, come on, I know I'm hungry, but come on, I can still move. Okay, I'm going to drop everything then. Also, disappearing for just one item when you have just one item of a type, that's not, not okay. Uh, what else can I drop? Uh, the wood, probably. The compass is still too high. Come on, do you have some canned food on you or something? At least when you drop items, they still remain in the world, they don't disappear. Cables, what's in the box? What's in the box? Come on, some canned food in there. Nothing. I really don't like this encumbrance type. And they had the wrong kind of ammo. So I'm going to drop some more stuff. I, I, I would have wanted to be able to drop stuff by doing this. But it's so enamored by, by Fallout that it even copied some of its bad design choices and that's a bad idea. Let's drop just some because I may need the other. Oh, let's just drop. No, no. Zero two. Okay, let's drop this. Max. Okay. We can move again. We can run again. Running away. So, oh, there's something inside there. Something inside. Eh. Why am I radiated? Is this, is this place really radioactive? 
Yeah, it is. Like, it is properly radioactive. Before we see a mass of drums, every metallic surface is brown and heavy. The exterior for its mechanism was once again functional. I think I may need to oil these or something. I think that's may that may be why it's not uh, functional. And there it's not a corpse. Have I read the... Uh, it was Yvonne's diary. No, I did not read the diary. So I probably can't enter the... Uh, oh, there's more bugs there that I can't eat. Which is sad. I don't have a portable uh, fishing line with me to fish in those uh, in that river, which is also sad. There's a wolf thing. I'm gonna go eat a wolf, or a wolf will eat me. In a way, uh, it's not gonna be a very long. Uh, any, the the show will not be quite as long. There's probably other ways of getting the bunker than in the front door. Probably, I guess. Probably. Let's fight a wolf, he said, and then probably regretted it. Okay, equip this. Oh, and that actually took away some of my um, my points. Healthy. And I missed the wolf. And the wolf is going to kill me now. Yes, the wolf killed me. Well, uh, that was it for my not very, very good play now of uh, Adam RPG. It is... It's going in the direction of Fallout in good and bad ways. Good in its styling and its... In its approach to how to handle this kind of game, this kind of RPG. Also in the bad ways with the interface and the inventory and how it, that, that, that works. That was never the good part of Fallout. Emulating that is just plain wrong. I mean, I mean just flat out wrong. They should make, honestly... I, th I think Fallout Tactics had the, uh, at least had a grid of items instead of just a line and not being able to just drag and drop them that doesn't make sense but you couldn't do that in fallout like drop them to the ground because it was it was a different time the technology wouldn't allow it but i think it will work now i don't think it's impossible to implement so they should really go for that the game again is just 15 euros it's on steam right now and uh it's made by Adam uh, team, which is uh, well, they're obviously very, very dedicated to the uh, to the game. I'm probably gonna do another show about it when it's further in development. Maybe it's version closer to one, at least 0 0.9, and probably I'll try to play a bit more of it. Then this was just a first uh, an overview of what the game is capable of, a <laughs> limited overview with the beginning of the game actually. So I'm gonna see you again soon with more shows. Goodbye.